stop being bad. This is Truth Potter Stavos, 777. Today's read is for you, Sagittarius. Hmm. Please like, comment, and share the video, Sag. I appreciate that. Um, hmm. Any information you need or inquiring about me, check out the, the description box. All right. So the overall energy is talking about due diligence, right? So Spirit is telling you somebody is going to come by to do their due diligence. Hmm. When you're talking about due diligence in, in ingress, this is the action or a fact going in or entering. So this official person is coming to your home to do their due diligence. Egress is the action of going out or leaving a, a place, a home. Hmm. So in the ingression, when we're talking about um, maybe your home or someone else is leaving a home, ingression, ingress is the is when there's action taking when someone coming into your home or entering your home. Egress is the actions of somebody leaving your home or moving out of a home. So someone is coming to do their due diligence, which is actually the process of examining the details hmm, of a transaction to make sure it is legal. Wow, that was the energy. The overall energy is about somebody coming to your home to do their due diligence. <sighs> wow, wonder what this is about, Sag. And it's about in your family room, which is a part of your home, a special place, um, a place where you may talk and gather with people whether it's business or not, mature woman or male, female, male or female, doesn't matter. So someone is taking a journey. So it's like this official person, which could be a doctor, a lawyer, a police officer, is coming to your home to, they're coming. Somebody is, or also you're taking a journey. You're going to be going somewhere. Hmm. In the bottom of the deck, I show this false person. And, and I feel like you guys are expecting this. This is about a court matter. Something that happened at a courthouse. Hmm. So there's a false person. But there's going to be an official person coming to do their due diligence with you. As I just broke down what the terms mean. It's the actions that someone takes to be clear to be sure that something is what it appears to be to make sure that it's legal binding right so hmm and it's about coming to your home male or female there's also the the bottom of this deck now whatever this person or this legal person coming is going to bring you a lot of balance as the Nine of Pentacles, you're going to have a lot of, um, it's going to bring you peace and balance, right? It's going to bring you some peace, something about you accepting. Now, this could be somebody else or you, somebody, there's going to be some fear, something about fear and discipline. So something about accepting that you have peace and you no longer fear hmm. discipline. Somebody regrets that you don't fear them. That again, that they don't have balance, but you do. Remember the temperance was here. And this is somebody that's obviously envious of you. But somebody has to accept the fact that you're at peace. You have no fear because you're disciplined. Hmm. And you have happiness. Somebody's watching the fact that you are balanced and you're peaceful in your home. That's the other thing. You're very peaceful in your home. See? Peace. So some official person is coming to tell you something. The other energy that we're seeing out here, Sag, is about a journey. Again, somebody's coming to your home. A physical journey. Um... It could be physical or, men or mental. You could be thinking about some things, but somebody's coming to your home, and I want to verify that. 
clarify it. You should accept a val valid criticism. So, hmm. Then we have the key card, successful outcome to a problem. So there's a problem that is going to bring you some peace. Maybe this official person is coming to your home to tell you something about six, a problem that you're having, that you're going to be able to overcome it because someone is coming to let you know about something. So danger, especially in money matters. Then we have a wish granted. You're going to have something that's going to bring you wealth. This person may be delivering something. Hmm. You're going to do some research. You're going to be seeing this. This is going to be very, you're going to know about it. You're going to go within. Hmm. We're going to ask for clarification. Spirit, give us a clarification card for the official person. Why is this official person coming to see Sag? What is the purpose? And this is going to be because you're highly thought of. Somebody wants to point that out to you. It's going to be some hard work ahead for you. This hand card keeps trying to get my attention. In need of help and, and assistance and guidance. So... Somebody may come to your house to tell you that somebody's needing your help. This is it. Somebody's coming to your home. Sorrow over a loss. So there's going to be a loss. Somebody's coming to tell you that, wow, this doesn't sound that good. But somebody's coming. Somebody needs your help. And they're coming. This official person is coming to tell you about somebody in need of your assistance. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Yeah, they're coming very quickly. Somebody's gonna, there's gonna be some money coming to you. Wow. One card for the official person. One card for the official person for Sag. So it looks like Sagittarius, it seems like there's gonna be some serious business of some official person. Remember, ingression, ingress. Somebody's coming to your home. Wow, you're going to have a lot of peace. That was the bottom of the deck, this, the temperance card, which is your Sag. You're going to have peace and harmony. Somebody's going to have to accept or their peace. Here it is. There's going to be peace and harmony and balance about a situation or a person. Yeah, this will be justice. This will bring you a lot of balance. Right. So the official person coming to your home is going to give you some good news, it seems to me. Oh, this car flipped out. Right, yep. Yep, that's it. That's a fact. Somebody's coming to give you some money. You're going to get something, official notification about somebody coming to your home. And it's about somebody giving you something. It could be a will. It could be an inheritance because the wealth card is out here. So you're going to inherit, inherit some money. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to bring you a lot of hope. All your wishes is going to come true. Wow. I feel like whatever this person or place or thing is, it's going to bring you peace because we have the peace. Something that you're going to learn some news about. It's going to bring you a lot of clarification and peace. Again, this could be an inheritance. This could be... Um, some sort of will, somebody's leaving you some money. It's going to it's going to help overcome a lot of things that maybe were a distraction to you, a blessing. This is definitely a blessing. This is something that your angels were watching to make sure that you would get it. It's going to be something definite in stone and writing. No one can take it from you. It's coming. It could be again, it could be a a will, a statement, a, a home, inheritance, uh, some something that is worth money because we have the wealth part. Now, it's going to be some, somebody may pass on and you may get this inheritance. Yeah, because they're thinking of you. And it, this is somebody who needs help. These three cards came out together. So you're going to be receiving something and again, it's going to bring you a lot of balance. 
this inheritance, this money. Um, it's going to bring you all the wishes that you've ever, you know, things that you wish for, things that you, wow. Yeah, again, I cannot make it up. It's going to be a big blessing. This is something from the universe. Wow, the Ace of Pentacles is everything. All, oh, everything. So you're getting a big blessing through some sort of um you're you're getting it may be through your marriage, a business deal. Somebody yeah, yeah, they're coming. It's gonna be about maybe in your marriage, maybe you want a case, but they're coming to your home to tell you this, to give you this. It's gonna be it's going to be a legal document. Wow. Yeah. It's going to be something. Yeah. It's, somebody's definitely coming to give you something. Wow. Give me a card for the... Because it is a journey. And we have the journey here twice. Give me a card for the... Oh, wow. I was going to say the crack cup. So the crack cup is talking about somebody in their head. So this should, ex you should accept. So somebody is in their head because it's about whatever this you're getting, um, somebody is gonna be real stressed out about it and jealous. This person is a Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. This criticism, maybe you told this person about somebody this person that they were, that you knew was in a situation that now they're, they were blinded to, now they see the truth. This person didn't accept criticism. But whatever this blessing is, this could be a family member. This could be somebody that you had to move away from. I feel like you told somebody something that was the truth. Yeah, and they had to go through a whole lot. You had to go through a lot. Maybe you were... You put yourself on the line trying to help this person. Yeah, you did. You stood up for this person. You were very strong. This person didn't want to accept the criticism that you were trying to help them on something. They were too blinded and stuck to see the truth. And now they're left out in the cold. Hmm. Yeah, now this person wants to apologize to you. But see, judgment was called. The trumpets, the horns were blown. This could be a family member. This is somebody. It's a blessing. This is a big blessing. Maybe this person left a, uh, a will, an inheritance. This is somebody that left something for you. And they're, this is their way, I guess, of accepting the fact that the criticism or the advice you may have given this person, they may have had a lot of peace had they listened to you, but they didn't. And I feel like it's, you were the key to this person's problem, success of an outcome to a problem. Again, you were, you were the key to over, help this person overcome whatever issue or problem that they had. But this person was all in their head, a journey. Again, somebody's coming to tell you, but you're going to get something from it. It's going to be a wish that, that's granted for you. It's money. Clarify the wish, the wealth, the wealth card, and the wishbone. Clarify the, the wishbone. Hmm. Yeah, peace and harmony. It keeps coming up. This blessing, which is the Ace of Pentacles coming from the heavens, it's not, if you guys are in lack, you're no longer going to be in lack because this is a blessing. However, it's coming, it's coming through a blessing. Remember, this was somebody that was false. You were probably expecting to win some sort of court case or this was something that this person, maybe you had to go to court with this person. One card for the wishbone. What is it? A wish is granted. One card for the wishbone. Again, it's about a court case. One you probably you gave this person advice and they didn't want to accept it. Again, wow, jeez, this is amazing. 
all the it's, this is going to bring you to tears and i feel like in a good way one card for the bear so the danger especially in money matters so all your wishes happiness blessings oh wow so somebody's success this person's a capricorn when it comes to your money, all this big blessings, somebody's going to be obsessed with your money. Another card for the bear card. Somebody's a Capricorn, and it's somebody from your past. They're, somebody's obsessed with your big blessing and your money. Somebody knows you're getting some major inheritance, a big blessing that's going to bring you everything. This will make you a multimillionaire. This is what this is. Somebody's upset about it. Hmm. Because this person is having problems with their money. Whatever this money is, this doesn't have to be a lover. It could be a sibling. This is somebody that was uh, afraid to see you successful. Yeah. But it's again, it's your justice. It's going to bring you balance. Maybe a family member or somebody stole money from you. They lied. They didn't want you to see the truth. They kept you in this energy of not knowing that a family situation, as a sibling of yours, they were lying. They didn't want to see you successful. They held on. They were very toxic. This They knew that this big blessing coming to you would bring you and have you very wealthy. But you overcame something. Whatever it was that you had with this toxic family member, lover, friend, whoever. This is somebody that you known from your past. A relative, a sibling. They were a liar. They were juggling a lot of things. They were telling you one thing but doing something else. They thought they had success. Spirit and your angels was watching it. And this is why the balance is being brought. The clarity. The truth about maybe a will, a, something that you did not know about. Maybe this person told you a lie about um, a family inheritance, a home, property, money, funding, something that you were supposed to be, had, you know, some fairness brought to you when it came to this blessing. You, you didn't know the truth. This person was telling you lies about it. Maybe you weren't present. Maybe you were living away. A Maybe you were out of town. Maybe you lived somewhere differently. And now that the law, the officials, a lawyer, somebody's coming to give you what you deserve. But it's like this person is now in the energy where they need help. But we're going to clarify discipline. Hmm. This person, I am. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. One card for discipline. One card for discipline. One card for discipline. So it's like, so it's like somebody. Hmm. These came out reversed. Now they wonder. Wow, it's two. It's two women. Nasty, mean, controlling, manipulative women. A queen of swords and a queen of wands. They are nasty, vindictive, evil, controlling, impulsive, jealous, hateful, very direct. And the queen of swords in the upright is going to tell you the truth. This person, this woman was a liar, is a liar. This is a woman who wanted to win at all costs, wanted to... But whatever it was, she didn't win. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So she didn't she didn't win. She was holding on, trying to hold on to this King of Pentacles. This could be somebody coming into your future. That whoever this person was connected to, this queen, these queens, the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands, they were trying to take control over somebody in your life this person allowed this person to talk bad about you call you all kind of names disrespect you 
um, spread rumors about you, saying that you weren't, uh, you weren't really a worker, you weren't an entrepreneur, you weren't somebody that told the truth. They tried to say that you were a liar, that you were using that person, that you weren't honest with them, that you weren't sincere about being committed to them. This is somebody let somebody else get in their air about you. That's what this is. They let somebody control them. Yeah. So now this person, they want to reconcile with you. They want to compromise. This is somebody who wanted revenge and regret. Remember the regret card. This is somebody who regrets their remorse, their re they now they want to cut their losses. They lost out on a relationship with you. But it's this is who this is. Yeah, this person could be a Leah, Aries, Sag. Again, swords. This is somebody that talk a lot, spread lies. They told people how you really didn't hold it down. You weren't strong. But see. There's a King of Pentacles that's coming to... This is it. Oh, my goodness. This King of Pentacles is coming to tell you. Make plans. This is somebody that's, you know, stable. This person is coming to inform you about some plans that were talked about against you. They're coming. Yeah. Because this person was lying about you. This person now wants to offer you, come to tell you that they care about you. It's something about family, a lover, because somebody's sorrow over a loss. This they 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 weren't disciplined. They were not disciplined. I'm gonna get a card. And again, they're in regret. Wow. Give me a card for the hmm. Yeah, you or Hallie thought of. So this is, they talk a lot about you. These two women that were controlling this person that you were dealing with. One card for the bow. And now they're in need of help. See, there, this person not only wants to give you something. There's something you're going to be getting. Somebody stole from you. Somebody took from you. They took from you and gave to somebody else. That's what it was. The King of Cups. This could be a relative. This is somebody that now just in their head. They were they were allowing someone to manipulate them. Now they want to give their love to you. This is somebody, this somebody wants to give you, give you love, show you love. This person, you are highly thought of. Now, this person had strings attached when, he, when you were dealing with this person. You didn't realize that they let somebody else talk to them out of the connection they had with you. One card for the in need of, the, of help, assistance. One card for the hand. Hmm. Yep, they're looking for you. They need help because there was a catastrophic moment that happened. Take the energies as they apply. Yeah, they had to walk away. Now they need your help. This is somebody who let other people talk about you and didn't say a word. They just let people watch you, stalk you, talk about you, and they didn't open their mouth. But now they need your assistance. <laughs> wow. And whatever happened to this person is major. So some official person is coming to you. This is a person. Ah, oh my goodness. It's a lover. A Gemini. They had a catastrophic moment. And now there was some sort of business. Oh God. This person is needing your help. This is crazy. <laughs> they need your assistance. This is somebody who's looking. Oh, oh my goodness. This is somebody who didn't give you anything. Now they want to tell you and show you that they, they're in love with you because they need help. This person is suffering. This is a lover that you had a business, that you had a partnership with. This person is needing your help. Oh my goodness. A 
feel like this is something that a mystery that you knew. Somebody you may have been in a relationship, married to, they need your help. Their sorrow, a sorrow over a loss. Maybe this, again, maybe I said there was a will, inheritance, there's a blessing. It's going to be clear that this person is coming to give you a lot of money. You're going to get something major. And Spirit wants you to accept it. That's it. Spirit wants you to accept this big blessing that's coming to you because you deserve it. Accept it. Spirit is saying accept it. It's going to, it's going to bring you peace in this person too because this person dogs you out. Mm -hmm. They dogged you out. They let other people dog you out. They weren't disciplined in the relationship, whether it's a family member, a brother, a sister. Uh, it doesn't matter. They left you out in the cold. It's like possibly in a marriage or something, somebody or a sibling. You could have been living with someone. You had a lot of happiness when you were with this person initially, but then they let somebody get in their head and tell you that you needed to move out of the home. Maybe you were living with family, a sibling, a brother, sister, whoever you were living with at some point, you had to fight your way out of this situation with this family. Kind of left you homeless. You had to search and find a new place to live. Yeah. Something in along those lines. Somebody that you felt a lot, that you were close to, they, they left you stranded. You had to go find and move on and find a new place to live. Maybe this all occurred at night, during the evening. You had to, you know, now this person that threw you out. Maybe you got evicted and you had nowhere to go. Because I feel like this has something to do with three or more people. This person didn't choose you. Again, it could be anybody. They didn't choose you. They let you walk away. And be had to struggle and find somewhere else to go. You had to clearly find a new place to move on to. You were strapped. You were in your head. You couldn't believe how this person could, uh, you know, take your happiness away. They didn't believe the criticism. You uh, again, it's some advice you gave this person, and they listened to somebody else. They let somebody else get in their head and take away or come in come in between you and that person's happiness. They let somebody manipulate them, take away their strength. A Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn is coming to hold you down. This person is confident. They're planning on coming to you to support you. This may be a past life lover. Yeah. But whatever it was, this person with the bow card, they're, they... They're sorry because they gave, they're sorry that they didn't show you love and support when you had, again, you could have been residing with these people. Maybe you were residing with a family member, a husband, whatever, but they watched you have this catastrophic moment. I feel like you love this person. They watch you, you know, things crumple. And they partnered up with somebody else. Maybe they partnered up with their lover. Once you had to leave an, an environment or a home, this person believed that they were in love with this person, that they chose them over you. You had to sit and watch this. Because they chose that person over you. Mm-hmm. Yep, Sag. That's what it seems to me. This is... um. In some kind of way, there's going to be a big blessing for you coming out of all of this. But they now need your help. Now, the same person that turned their back on you, this person was false and is false. Be expecting. Be expecting some official person to come to you. Something or about somebody. Yeah, this is going to be the news. Mm -hmm. It's going to be good news. That's the thing. It's going to be good news for you. It's going to be a new start, a new passion. Everything that you ever wanted, happiness, it's going to help you. Right. It's coming. It's all wands. This is going to happen very quickly. Overall energy, what else do we need to know? Somebody's going to be concerned. We already know that. Somebody's just 
this person is going to be concerned that you're married, that you're going to have marriage. Remember, I told you the King of Pentacles. They're coming in. Or this person is, oh, wow. Again, keep talking about this distant journey. Somebody is concerned that while in a marriage, that they're, something that this person did, that they're going to jail. Whoever, they're, whoever they were married to, they're going to jail. The person they were married to is, is going to be in jail. A distance. A journey. It's something about a journey, a distance. They're concerned. And it's about children, a child. They were giving this person gifts. They were working with this person. Oh, wow. Whatever. This person needs your help now. Whoever this is. But you're getting big blessings because of this person's way of treating you. Again, this was a secret. This was all a lie. This person's sick. Remember, they need your help. Now they want your help. And they regret. Again, Aries, Leo, or um, um, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. This person is sick, ill. This is person is laying on their their deathbed. Everything that they did while you were trying to support this person and show a lot of support and love to this person, this person refused to accept what you were explaining to them. This could have been a family member. Again, it says a lover, but it could have been anybody. Take their energies as they apply to you the relationships. Yeah, this person refused to see a truth that you were telling this person, but this person is now suffering an illness, a sickness. They have a major mishap that happened in their life. Yeah, they're sick about you losing the Queen of Pentacles. You're, you, they know about your money. They know about your money, your business, how you've overcome a lot that you're successful that them trying to blind you and and walk away from you you've overcome all the strife the fighting the argument you're walking into somebody that's going to bring you a lot of a new love a new start we already seen it with the king of pentacles yeah mature woman or man somebody's coming to your house again it's about your job you're working a message you're going to get a message Privileged lady, your wealth will increase. I keep telling y'all, a message in your wealth, man or woman, that's what's coming. A message in about your wealth is going to change your life. Wow. Leaving other people impoverished, needing to work. You won't have to work. It's going to be with a wealthy man. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be a great fortune. It's going to leave you in this position when you're highly respected, official person. Oh, my goodness. It will leave everybody in their thoughts because you're going to get this unexpected income. This will be somebody you will court. It will take you out of your current community. You'll have a new home, a new house, a whole new life. And it will leave this person in concern. This was a main male. This person may pass on. They lost their money with a lover. Yeah, they're impoverished. Bad health. They're in despair. Wow. That is everything, Sagittarius. So just know that whoever this person is, again, they have bad health. They need your help now. This is somebody who you had to go to court with this person. They lost a court battle. The judge seen right through this person. This person is sick and ill. This person, they was trying to work you. This was a thief. They chose another path with a false person. Who you expected this person to be pretty stupid and give away all their money. But they were blindfolded when they went traveling to somebody else again this could be a family member it could be anybody but we know for sure it's a lover this person is in deep regret they are losing sleep they have no balance they have no strength they envy you 
this friendship, there was no, there was a no more of a friendship. You, this person didn't trust you. Remember, they let other people talk about you. They were in total denial about who you were. So that's the news. You're going to hear about money, somebody's sickness, illness, the people that they entrusted their money with, their time with, their energy with. It could be a, anybody. It could be a family member. They let other people get in their ear and talk about you, which were all lies. And they believed it. They trusted with this person what people were saying about them. They went behind your back, trusted what others were saying about you. Again, this person is a Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. They did a lot of talking, lying, stealing, conniving, underhand stuff, holding on to the lies, believing in lies, just believing everything about, oh my goodness, an empress. They was holding on to trying to um, watch you invest. You are empress. And I just did the video for the empress. Watch the video that was just uploaded. It's about somebody trying to uh, murder an earth goddess. This is somebody that was trying to work on harming you. This part 3636 when I said that. This is what this is. But there was a death to this cycle. This person tried to end you. But now the, the tables have turned. Karma is coming very quickly in this person's life. They can't watch you. They don't want to talk. They want to surrender to you now. But Spirit is telling you it's time to move on. Keep your mind on your work. Start a new passion with somebody else. Because somebody else is coming in to bring you a lot of happiness. You're going to be working with someone else. You're going to be very happy. So that's the read, Sag. Thank you for stopping by. Bye. Also realize, and I know this is this read is, is done. This person wants to work their way back into living with you. This person, I feel like maybe there was a situation where you live with this person. Again, I mentioned that earlier. But it seems to me this person may have watched you leave their home. Again, there could be a period in time where you were living with this person a lover, a friend, a relative, whatever. You were working when you were living with this person. But this person, I feel like, evicted you. Um, and now this person is needing your help. So they're coming and watching, trying to maybe offer you rent or offer you some money, try to share this place. Because they had a catastrophic moment. This person, remember I just described ingress and egress. This person lost their home. A catastrophic moment is, is has come to this person. I feel like, again, you guys had a catastrophic moment when it came to your stability at one point in time. This person now is in the same position. Now they want to show you love. They want to say, can we partner up? Can I live with you? This is a lover. A, a Gemini could be a sibling, a brother, a sister, a family member, a cousin. Now this person needs your help. They're the ones that need the helping hand. This is somebody who, again, they lied. They talked about you. It could have been a husband and a wife situation. You were living with them, family members. And now they're, they, the ingression is you have this official person is coming to your house. Somehow this person is going to have some authority figure come to your house with some notification, paperwork. However, this is the ingression. They're coming to your home, but this person has lost their home. Egress. So now this person is lost. They don't have a place to stay. This is a lover. Again, you guys may have shared a place at one point in time. And this person was watching you as you had to walk away. Maybe you guys were evicted from your home at night. Maybe something you were trying to stretch your money while you were working. This, this whole time, this person was talking about you in the most negative, vile way. Yeah, they talked about you. They said you was a hoe. You were a trick. This person said you used to leave the house at night and work and partner up and spend money. You know, maybe this person was saying that you were selling yourself, your body for money. This is this person. Somebody, this person. Now there's sorrow. 
when in fact what they were saying about you they were actually doing now they have to you know sell themselves because now they thinking highly of you what they found out about about you wasn't true you were somebody that was hard working you had your occupation you were rebuilding yourself you will focus on your children, your family. This person was a thief. This person may have said you were thieving and lying and stealing and cheating and getting your money in some kind of behind the scenes scenes way. They said that you was taking paths, that you were a fake, you were a phony, you were a fraud, you were a liar, you were a trick, you were an escort. Maybe this person was saying you were selling your body and it was all a lie. They were saying you was getting money for to pay for your expenses. This is what this person was saying about you. Yeah, this could have been somebody you was married to. Hmm. But see, you have good luck on your side. This is the blessing. This is the truth. Everything I'm saying is clear, true. It's a fact. There's Spirit is bringing you balance, happiness, harmony. Now that you've overcome a very, you know, painful part of your life. This could have been in the past when this person was finding it obsessed, lying about your lifestyle, their lifestyle. It was all an illusion. This person pretended confirmation like they cared about you, but they threw you out. I feel like you had to egress. This person evicted you. Mm -hmm. They walked away from you. They believed what people were saying. Now they, now they have to trust you. This person now has to trust you for their stability, their lifestyle, their happiness. It all came back while they were lying and talking about you, partnering up in, a, in their family room, gossip, gossiping about a male or female. You know, they were saying that you was working, a working person, a working girl. Working guy, call girl, call girl, guy, an escort, a prostitute, a trick, a hoe. These are the people that they were around and they were trying to accuse you of that. But you are a chosen one. The Empress, this is the Taurus energy. You are a Taurus. You have it in your chart. This energy is about blessings, abundance, wealth, um, success. You have all of that. You didn't work for nobody. You had to... Um, you were a, a self-employed person. Maybe you had multiple jobs. You were on your purpose, building your life. You know, this person didn't have any empathy for you. Now they're looking for empathy because they were working against you. Forces working against you. This person was working against you. Now they need your money. Your money, you're something important, such as a new job or raise. So you're getting this money, I'm telling you. This is a person who talked about you because you're on the road to success. That is it, Sagittarius. Thank you. Bye.